Hey, what's going on? on? This is for real fresh. fresh. And you're kicking it and with Big Bang Sports. I want to talk about the Tiafima Lopez Let's versus go. George Camboso Jr. fight. I thought that was a good fight. Um, I didn't watch much of George Camboso fights, but I did hear that he fought hundreds of rounds with Manny Pacquiao. That says a lot. And then I looked at his record and I was like, okay, yeah. This guy got the goods. So I knew it was going to be a boxing match, but it didn't look like Tiafima Lopez came to box at first. I thought it was interesting, though. Um, he came in there relying too heavily on his power and being the bigger man. And I feel like a lot of pride was... You, have you ever heard the saying pride comes before the fall I feel like a lot of that was in there too I saw in the first round he was the jab was timed in the first round in the first round the jab was timed and I saw that if Tiafima Lopez would have just threw the jab or well, threw the feint and then threw the jab covering his chin and through the two uh, and through the, the right hand or excuse me well, through the two he would the, the match would have been over but he would have had to have been boxing I mean he started boxing afterwards slowed the fight down but George Comboso Jr. man he did well man they were at one time I mean the one the one two was there for both of them. T and Tiafima Lopez was he just he started to fade a little bit and he came back, but man, it was a good match. It was a good match. I didn't expect I didn't expect a loss from Tiafima Lopez, but Tiafima Tiafima Lopez Jr. is still a great boxer. And I know we're going to see more of him. And this won't be the last time. If anything, he's going to take a lot from this fight. He's going to be a monster at 140. I already heard that they're not going to do a rematch. They're just going to go to 140. And that's cool. That's cool. He's a monster, man. He's great. He's a great boxer. And we're going to see him again. So now, George Camboso Jr. has the three belts and he also has the franchise including, he also has a franchise belt the WBC franchise and George says he wants Devin Haney if he De if Devin Haney can get past Jojo Diaz so and I think that's going to be an interesting fight I believe that in that fight Devin Haney versus Jojo Diaz. I got Devin Haney winning. Honestly, think that's going to be easy work for Devin Haney. Man, I would love to see Jojo Diaz challenge Devin Haney, though. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I would really love a good fight. And it's, it's still a good fight. I still want to watch it just to see how well Devin Haney does, though. Um, but uh, Jojo Diaz is a really good boxer. I just can't wait to see what he does. And, man, this weekend is just a bunch of good boxing coming on. I'm also interested in this fight with um, my boy, Javante Tank Davis versus, I'm going to say, Isaac Cruz. I know that's not, I know I'm butchering his name and I apologize. Um, but, man, I think some people think this is going to so a wash fight, but I watched a little bit of film on that Isaac uh, Isaac Cruz guy, and he's in your stuff. He's explosive, and he's not letting up on anything. He looks like a monster. Javante Tank Davis, I th believe he can take his power, but he's going to have to punch in between the shots. 
Cruz has enough power to knock out Javante Tate Davis. So, and he's explosive. And he has shots coming from everywhere. He's a he's a prolific. He's a great, a great body puncher. A great body puncher. For what I've seen, uh, he had, does have a loss, but man, he has a bunch of wins as well. And a lot of times, man, losses you can either grow from them or you can let them kill you. It's up to you. It's up to you. But on a lighter note, man, this weekend coming up, what's that? December 4th, December 5th, 2021. It's going to be a great weekend of boxing. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. I'm going to fill you guys in on how I feel. And hey, guys, this is for real fresh. And I'm glad you guys are kicking it with me to the next time. This is Big Bang Sports Entertainment. Let's go.